Pork. The quintessential American meat has been a household favorite for generations, and it's not hard to see why. From bacon to pork chops, this versatile meat is a staple in kitchens across the nation. With over 73 million hogs and pigs on farms from coast to coast, it's clear that the American appetite for pork is here to stay. In fact, on average, each person in the United States consumes over 51 pounds of pork per year. The numbers are simply staggering. In 2021 alone, the U.S. pig industry produced nearly 27 billion pounds of pork, fueling an industry that supports over 53,000 jobs and generates more than $30.6 billion in revenue annually. But what really sets the pork industry apart is its global reach. Recent data up until 2021 shows that the industry is continuing to expand at a remarkable rate, with a record 29% of total pork production being exported to international buyers. That means that almost one out of every three pigs bred and raised in the U.S. is destined for foreign lands. In terms of numbers, an astonishing 7.03 billion pounds of U.S. pork were exported, while only 14.83 pounds were consumed domestically. Put simply, 25% of all U.S. pork finds its way to tables across the world. Behind these impressive numbers are the hard-working farmers who keep the industry humming. So let us take a deep dive into the world of American pork farming and uncover the innovative techniques that American farmers are using to keep this industry thriving. When it comes to pork production in the United States, three states lead the pack, Iowa, Minnesota, and North Carolina. These states are responsible for a significant portion of the pork produced in the country with Iowa taking the top spot by producing over 23.6 million hogs and pigs in 2022. That's an impressive amount of pork. Minnesota and North Carolina are not far behind, with roughly 8.6 million and 8.2 million hogs and pigs raised, respectively. Raising pigs requires careful management, attention to detail, and a great deal of hard work. The first step in the process is selecting a suitable breed. When it comes to selecting the right breed of pigs, farmers are like matchmakers, seeking the perfect match for their farm's climate, location, and market. Popular breeds like Hampshire, Duroc, and Yorkshire are carefully selected for their traits, which are well suited to specific farming conditions. Once chosen, the pigs are brought to the farm and housed in specialized indoor facilities, where every aspect of their environment is carefully controlled to ensure their comfort and well-being. Pigs require a balanced diet to thrive. The feed is a special mixture of grains, such as corn, wheat, and soybeans, along with protein sources like soybean meal, fish meal, and dried whey, tailored to the pig's specific needs. Farmers take into account the pig's age, weight, breed, and stage of development, ensuring that they receive the perfect combination of nutrients to keep them healthy and strong. They also consider any health issues that may arise, such as digestive problems or nutrient deficiencies, to ensure that the pigs receive necessary care. To deliver the feed, specialized equipment is used, including automatic feeding systems that dispense the correct amount of feed at the appropriate time. These computer-controlled systems can be programmed to deliver different amounts and types of feed depending on each pig's individual needs, ensuring that they receive the right amount of nutrition every time. Nonetheless, it's crucial to keep in mind that the U.S. pork producing business isn't really cut and dry. Instead, it is a remarkably large and intricate corporation that employs a wide range of strategies to turn a profit. A farmer may choose to keep an animal through its whole life cycle, from birth to slaughter, or they may choose to raise pigs until they weigh between 10 and 60 pounds. The piglets are later sold to other businesses where they are reared until they are fully grown. Smaller businesses that lack the resources to rear pigs to full maturity frequently perform this. Another common technique is developing pigs to their full meaty potential once they have reached the feeder pig stage. Pigs have a longer biological cycle than broilers, but a shorter one than cattle. A sow or adult female hog can produce slightly more than two litters per year, with each litter consisting of an average of nine piglets. That means hog farmers need to stay on top of the different phases of hog production to ensure they have a steady supply of healthy pigs throughout the year. The appropriate age and weight for a pig slaughter can vary depending on the market and the specific goals of the farmer or producer. In general, pigs are typically slaughtered at around six months of age and weigh between 240 to 270 pounds. 
However, some farmers may choose to slaughter their pigs at different ages and weights, depending on their production goals and market demand. The process of slaughtering pigs is carefully regulated by government agencies to ensure that it is done safely and humanely. At the processing plant, the pigs are first stunned, usually by electrocution or carbon dioxide gas, to render them unconscious and insensitive to pain. They are then bled out and their carcasses are cleaned, skinned, and butchered into different cuts of meat. The meat is then packaged and shipped to grocery stores, restaurants, and other retailers where it is sold to consumers. It is important to note that the meat undergoes rigorous safety and quality inspections at each stage of the processing to ensure that it is safe for human consumption. Despite the economic benefits and efficiency of large-scale pig farming in the United States, concerns have been raised about the welfare of pigs, environmental impact, and use of antibiotics. As we delve deeper into the realities of pig farming in the country, it becomes evident that the living conditions of pigs on the farms are far from ideal. Picture this, row upon row of metal stalls, each holding a pig, thousands of them, packed tightly together, barely able to move. The air is thick with the stench of waste, and the only light comes from fluorescent bulbs above. This is a concentrated animal feeding operation, or CAFO, where the majority of pigs in the United States are raised for meat production. These facilities are designed for maximum efficiency with every inch of space utilized to produce as much meat as possible. But at what cost? The pigs in these facilities are living in cramped, barren conditions without access to natural light or fresh air. They are fed a diet of grain and soybean meal, supplemented with vitamins and antibiotics to promote growth and prevent disease. But the overuse of antibiotics in livestock production is contributing to the development of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, which poses a growing threat to public health. And the disposal of pig waste is another major issue, with large amounts of manure produced by these facilities that can contaminate nearby water sources if not properly managed. Perhaps the most concerning aspect of these facilities is the welfare of the pigs themselves. Animal rights advocates argue that the pigs are subjected to cruel and inhumane conditions, including overcrowding, lack of enrichment, and limited mobility. And while some farmers and industry groups have implemented welfare standards and certification programs to improve conditions, the reality is that the vast majority of pigs raised for meat in the United States are still living in these cramped, barren facilities. In conclusion, while pig farming is a sizable business in the United States that creates income and employment, it also faces enormous obstacles that cannot be disregarded. To maintain a sustainable and moral sector, it is important to address concerns about animal welfare, environmental effect, and the excessive use of antibiotics in livestock production. Demand for pig products farmed in more humane and ecological methods is rising as customers become more aware of and concerned about these issues. The capacity of the industry to adjust to these shifting customer tastes and put policies in place that value environmental sustainability and animal welfare will determine the future of pig farming in the United States.